Eleven Labs just dropped something massive, that is their brand new AI music generator, and this changes absolutely everything. You can now create studio quality songs, Feel the pulse, rising, lights at night, electrified. custom vocals, and even clone your own voice all inside one app. No more paying for music libraries or digging through royalty-free tracks. You can now make the exact soundtrack you want in just seconds. So today I'm putting 11 Labs to the test. And now you can actually try 11 Labs for free with my link in the description of the video. So make sure to sign up there and activate your free trial. So once you have done that, just log in, then go to music here on the left hand side and describe your song here. And basically what I did, and I recommend doing this as well, is that you can just go to ChatGPT and for example, I asked it what is trendy music right now. It gave me a couple of different um, genres and then I told the AI to give me a prompt that I can then use in 11 Labs to create one of these songs. And also something um, worth keeping in mind is that you can't describe the artist name here. So if you're trying to create a, for example, a weekend style song, that's not going to work because um, that is violating the terms and services there. So I told it to remove the band or artist names from it. I just asked the AI to describe the track as accurately as possible. And here I got all these different types of ideas. So for instance, let's just copy paste this one, this number one prompt, global, trendy, pop, mainstream, radio friendly, and let's add it here. And now before I create this song, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. So first of all, you can choose how many versions of this song you want to create right off the bat. I will keep it one just to not waste that much credits. Then what you also want to do is you want to choose the duration. And I obviously recommend keeping it on auto since you don't want to have the AI force the song to be shorter or longer than what it was going to create. But if you're worried about the credits, you might want to try 30 seconds at first just to give an idea or get an idea of how this tool actually works. But let's do auto for now, and then let's just generate it. When you start to create your track, it will create it in parts, as you can see here on the bottom of the screen. So here we have already the intro, the verse, the pre-chorus, and we can actually already start to play this track, even though it's not even completely finished yet. So you don't need to wait for like a couple of minutes, you can almost instantly start to play the track. So let's listen to it, and I'm not going to play it all the way through, but let's listen to the first, let's say, 10-20 seconds. Feel the pulse, heartbeat rising Lights at night, we're electrified yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty good to me, I would say. And now we can actually start to edit this track. So you can obviously just download this as it is right here and you don't need to do anything on it, but this is where 11 Labs shines. So you do not only get this track, but you have all these customization options. So now you can do all sorts of editing here with AI as well. So you don't need to have any technical knowledge, of course, you can just use this easy to use editing function. So one thing that I don't see any other tutorial mentioning is that you can actually stretch and shrink these clips over over here. So just an example, if you think that the intro is a bit too long, let's actually just make it shorter. For example, let's make it take only 12 seconds instead of 20 and let's hit generate to see the result. So let's listen to it again. Feel the pulse, rising. Lights ignite, we're electrified. Step into the moment, colors in my eyes, breathing in my body. So as you can hear, it sounds quite different, although the lyrics are still the same and the mood and the style is still the same. So not everything changed, but it didn't definitely just touch this intro part, but it also changed the entire song because it wouldn't be able to fit um, the stuff into it if I make the introduction like 8 seconds shorter, so it has to do a lot of work there. So that's one thing. Then you can also 
do these styles here. So if you want to touch the styles of the song in general, you can find it here at the top. So include styles and exclude styles. You can, for example, get rid of the cinematic feeling. And if we do that, we need to hit generate. So let's listen to this new one. Feel the pulse, heartbeat rising. Lights ignite, we're electrified. Mm. Step into the moment, colors in my eyes, rhythm in my. So, as you can hear, that once again changed by quite a bit because the AI essentially regenerates most of the song from scratch. So that is a bit of a miss over here. So even if you tweak one little thing, it actually generates the song entirely again. So it will remind it, of course, because you have the lyrics, but also it doesn't sound like the original song that much. So if you, for example, just want to remove, let's say the trap hi-hats, it is not going to just remove those. It is going to create another song that sounds somewhat different to the original one. And also please notice that once you're doing these changes, it is not overwriting the track. So you can always go to the right hand side and go back in history to these different variations of your song. So for instance, here is our original clip, here's the second one, and here is the third one. But now let me show you some other edits. So shrinking and stretching these songs is just one of the features you can do. But we can also go and edit these lyrics, for example. And now let me just create another song just so that I'm not wasting all my credits into this one. I will only make it 30 seconds in length. And here I will be able to show you what the changing of lyrics might look like and how it alters the song. So first of all, let's listen up to this new track that I just created. Up, up, be steady on the neon skies, we chase the night, no compromise. Rhythm's pause beneath our feet, shadows fade, we're feeling free. We will rise like sun across the sky. Now let's try to change these lyrics here in the first verse. So okay, let's do something like this. So it says heartbeat steady under neon skies. I will say clear blue skies and let's see what it actually sounds like once we hit generate to change these lyrics again so here is the new track heart be steady on the clear blue skies we chase the night no compromise rhythms pulse beneath our feet shadows fade we're feeling free we will rise like sun across the sky feel the world ignite tonight so as you can hear, the introduction here sounds a bit different now, even though I just made a tiny change. So that is not 100% optimal because I'm pretty sure it could have just replaced Nian with Clebu, but whatever. Um, then the chorus sounds exactly the same because it only edited this part here, so it didn't change anything here. But even though it edited the first part of the track right heavily, it still didn't break the continuity of the song, so this still sounds intact. It sounds exactly like one short song, so it doesn't feel strange if I change something here and it regenerates that part. It is still one whole track. So that is how you edit your tracks and thanks to the fact that it is only operating on one part of your song if you're for example changing the lyrics, it is saving you credits, it is saving you time and it's also keeping the song a realistic and natural vibe even though it's just operating on one part of it even if it had to regenerate that whole part again. So that's pretty cool here. So thus far it is pretty much flawless but let's try to see what happens if we try to create a song in another language. So the problem with AI usually is that the more data there is, the better the uh, outputs are, but the less data, the worse the outputs. So let's start with the hardest language in the world, which is Finnish. And I happen to be from Finland, so my native language is Finnish, so we get to see if this actually works. So there are only 5.5 million people in the world that speak Finnish, so this one's going to be hard for the AI. So here I basically told the AI to create the next summer hit in a trendy style, and once again I only told it to um, create like a 30 second song, not to waste these credits here, but here's what that sounds like. <laughs> Wait, 
Well, that sounded almost perfect, but there were some issues in some of the pronunciations. So, for example, it said Kesayua, even though it should just say Kesayua. And also in this part where it says Naururaika, the AI says Naururaika, which basically is trying to say it in an English speaking style, which is not optimal. But I would say that in all these other parts, it sounded pretty much flawless, and I wouldn't be able to tell if this is a real song or not. So this is, I would say, 8 out of 10, even in Finnish. Then let's briefly talk about the pricing. So you actually have a very generous free trial over here, so you get to create 10 minutes worth of music every single month for free. I actually thought that this was 3 minutes, I for some reason just remembered incorrectly, so this is actually 10 minutes. So that's pretty awesome. And then if we move on to these paid plans, for instance, if you do the creator plan, you get to create 100 minutes worth of music every single month and let's just say you want to create a two minute song so you might want to do some edits and you might also want to regenerate it a couple of times so if we assume that you edit it let's say five times as a whole that will be 10 minutes per two minutes of actual song so that will be 10 songs every single month even if you do heavy edits and regeneration so that's pretty generous as well but now here's where it gets to a completely different level so a lot of people already know that you can create songs using AI, but what many people don't realize that is that there is also a very simple workflow with which you can turn these songs into actual music videos. And for example, here is a video that I created for one of my songs. Now, if you want to learn how to do this, just check the next video that I'm recommending somewhere over here or here. I will show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to turn one of your songs into a music video using AI. 